I'm about to eat. I'm not on food talk, but I'm definitely on mustard talk. And there's this girl named Tiffany on TikTok who eats raw vegetables with mustard and cottage cheese. So that is why you guys saw me do it in a recent vlog. And now we're gonna continue that. I'm about to eat a raw asparagus with some mustard, okay? I'm not an asparagus girly, so we're gonna see. What? Now I'm gonna try it with <clears throat> the cottage cheese. It's actually good. And um, what I did was I, cause I'm counting calories, which I'll talk more about uh, in the video later. I just put the bowl on the scale, zeroed it out and then put a serving. Wait, that's so good. Now we're gonna do it with carrot. <laughs> this is crazy. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Cauliflower. I'm gonna use the spoon. cut up some chicken sausage and I cooked that on the stove such a healthy meal so I kind of want to talk to you guys about my new plan that um, I created for myself I I do need to talk to you guys about weight loss surgery and stuff but right now I I just don't I don't want to and that's just like a boundaries thing um I'm not ready I kind of need to just like process my decision on my own time but I am um I, I do have a new plan that I'm doing and I just realized that like I talk so much about like food addicts being similar in the sense of you know drug addicts or alcoholics and i've had people message me who were once you know addicted to drugs or alcohol and stuff like that i've had them message me and say you know my addiction transferred um and now i'm a food addict and it's like so hard and it's like even harder than when I was a drug addict, et cetera, et cetera. I can't put words in people's mouths because our opinions and stuff, I feel like really are based on our experiences in life. And I have never been a drug addict. I have lived in a home with parents who were drug addicts. So I've definitely been down that path there. So I see how it is and I see how it breaks families and I see how it breaks people. But I truly can only speak on food addiction and in my experience, I always have like said, you know, with food addicts, it's different because if you're addicted to smoking cigarettes, you just like stop smoking. It's hard. So for some people, it's impossible. I get it. That's why it's called an addiction. You know, I always compared it like with food. You can't just stop eating food. But I, I put two and two together. I had like a little epiphany. And it's not like, yeah, duh, you can't stop eating food. But you can stop eating junk. You can stop eating foods from restaurants or fast food places like you can stop the bad stuff because that is the stuff that I am talking about that's the stuff I'm addicted to I'm not addicted to brown rice chicken and broccoli I could tell you that um that's the dinner I just had I didn't even finish it all because when I eat foods like that that are like filling and good and nutritious I don't even finish it all because it's so filling and it's the right nutrition it's like I could I could eat like a 20 piece nugget from McDonald's and a large fry in like two two seconds but then you put some like healthy food in front of me and I get full like a normal freaking poos person poosin who's a poosin so that's why I want to do this like no takeout challenge and I want to talk a little bit more about it so like today's day one of my no takeout challenge and it's not like oh my god I want to go 30 days it's just like I don't want any food from any restaurant or any fast food place whether i pick it up whether i order it whether i go there and sit there i don't want that i just 
that's not what I want. I don't want to Instacart or go to the grocery store and pick up candy and pick up chips and ice creams. Like I don't want that. And you know, yeah, I can say all day long, food addiction is hard because we have to eat to survive, but we don't have to eat the food we're addicted to. So my plan is I want to do intermittent fasting. I notice that's like what helps me the best. So I fast for 16 hours and usually out of those 16 hours, I'm probably sleep sleeping like seven. So I'm fasting, like my awake hours of fasting could be anywhere from like 9, 12. It just depends on how much I sleep. Sometimes I sleep more, sometimes I sleep less. So it just all depends. But uh, my eating window is eight hours. Do not go over 2000 calories. I will be doing daily weigh-in. So I did weigh in today. Um, I wanna drink 85 ounces of water. I have been so bad with my water intake lately. So that's gonna be like super important to me. Uh, 30 minutes of exercise daily and I'm allowing myself to like break that up. I don't have to do it all at one time. I could do it in five increments um, just as long as I get 30 minutes of that. And in the past I have like counted cleaning as exercise because for someone my size like cleaning is a little harder than the average Joe. You know I get out of breath, my heart is pumping. Everything that consists of like exercise, I get that feeling while cleaning, but I'm not gonna like do that. I'm just gonna have that be something completely separate. So exercise for me could be walking, dancing, um, Leslie Sandstone workouts, um, like chair workouts, like arm workouts, leg workout workouts, like anything like that. And then also like no cheat meals because that just like completely triggers me because usually when I get like on a plan and stuff, I tell myself, okay, well, I'll just have like one cheat meal a week. You know, it'll be every Saturday or it'll be every Wednesday. But by doing that, it like puts the food addiction feeling back in me. Um, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say, but then it's like I relapse and then I go on a path for like a week, sometimes a month. And it's like, I cannot like get a grip. So it's like, why even have a cheat meal if I know it's just gonna derail me completely? That's literally, that's literally it. Like cheat meals are not good for me. For some people it works fine, but the minute I get something in my mouth that I'm like addicted to, it's over.